About a month ago, I was in the dentist office, and they said they wanted to remove my wisdom teeth. Why? I'm 50, dude. I'm used to them, and they don't bother me. They were rather insistent and persistent, and said that they cause problems like sleep apnea and cheek biting. Well, who gives a shit? Leave them alone, I thought, as I ignored their request. It got me thinking, however, why on earth would they have this procedure in their selling kit for middle-aged men? I don't trust institutions, let alone a dentist who insists on an unnecessary procedure just to gain revenue, but what if there was something more to it? Why remove these in the first place? Why are they called wisdom teeth? After some minimal research, the molars actually start by growing in sideways. Okay, this causes impacting, which can be painful and uncomfortable. Other stories include evidence of evolution and the Industrial Revolution playing a role as harming the growth due to heavy metals and chemicals in our food. Okay, then I saw a TikTok video about it, which said it's a $3 billion industry. Hmm, tell me more. The TikTok video go to, went on to say that each tooth in the human mouth is related by a meridian to an organ in the body, some kind of energetic pathway which the wisdom teeth actually lead to the human heart and the pineal gland in the brain. Now you piqued my interest. The heart and the pineal gland are the foundation of spiritual enlightenment. The pain that is caused by receiving these teeth really actually wires the brain similarly to a woman who gives birth to a child as the pain and adrenaline makes new pathways and neuron connections. Hmm, that makes sense. This changes the brain and its empathy for others' pain by relation. But could this go even deeper? Of course. Like clockwork for me, the moment I put two things together in Google, the NIH website pops right up showing the truth. <laughs> it seems every time I find unnecessary government procedures tied to the spiritual world, the NIH is number one in all of my searches. They did a study on the pain of extraction of wisdom teeth. Quote, pain after wisdom teeth surgery can be moderate in severity and is compounded by preoperative anxiety in young patients. We studied the effect of melatonin premedication on postoperative pain and preoperative anxiety in patients undergoing wisdom teeth extractions. Unquote. Ooh. Seems benign in nature, but written in a way for people to choose removing them as going through receiving them is less stressful. But the study focused on the release of melatonin in the pineal gland. That's when I'm like, huh? What does that have to do with pain? Melatonin helps you fall asleep. Well, read between the lines. The actual study suggests that after removing the wisdom teeth, the energy connected to the pineal gland is removed. The NIH is reporting the fact that in order to be NIH healthy, you need to remove those teeth. But left us a clue for those who are paying attention like me that it removes your ability to spiritually discern what is going on in the world. Oh, it gets better. 75% of the world on Earth took the mRNA experimental vaccine because they lacked the wisdom to discern between the spiritual evil that follows it. <laughs> it gets worse. The bankers have been studying our anthropology for hundreds of years. They are religious and are listening to their ghosts for instructions. Their religion is a mix between Judaism and paganism called Kabbalism. They know... The pineal gland produces the VMAT2 God gene inhibitor, inhibitor, which slows dopamine down and seeps a serum into the right hemisphere of the brain, allowing you to believe in God. Removing the wisdom teeth actually stops the production of this VMAT2 inhibitor drug that gives us faith by taking out dopamine and imports several monoamine neurotransmitters into vessels in the brain. 
let me explain it simpler. This stops a fantasy and offers logic when released. So you don't go into dream world, you actually see logic chemically. So does the wisdom teeth remove the process of faith in the supernatural world? Not necessarily. It actually removes the spiritual connection or energy connection of the pineal gland to the foods we eat. Another example would be, if you had wisdom teeth and a belief system, you would know you are eating food that was sacrificed to idols and avoid it because you just didn't like the taste. Modern science just cut off your ability to eat food that is, well, cursed. <laughs> you can still believe in God, but eating food that was sacrificed to idols brings demons permission to harm you. At least, that's what the, the people who run the world think. Believe me, they remove your teeth so you can eat their food and their drugs. So, the wisdom teeth are a spiritual component to food, the last touch of a demonic food before swallowing, a warning system of old that gave us discernment of cursed food or bad food. Now you know why we are all sick and exhausted. If you remove your wisdom teeth, you actually have to pray over your food or God cannot heal you from eating cursed food. And we all know that the large corporation, corporations, the food companies, they are satanic. I mean, why else name your company Kraft? <laughs> it's in plain sight, guys. Seriously. Modern science has recently came out and said there is no real benefit to removing the wisdom teeth. So why are we still doing it? Well, they excuse the prior demand for profiteering. Okay. But there is evidence that also points to a connection to the heart liver, and the intestines. Their thesis wraps around an infection that causes heart, liver, and digestion problems. But New Agers say the same thing about the pineal gland connection to the heart. They believe by removing the wisdom teeth, you lose empathy and apathy for people. I don't know about that. Although there is little evidence pointing to it, I don't really buy it. But there has been some studies connecting the heart and wisdom teeth in which they claim anxiety runs more in people without wisdom teeth versus people with them. Anxiety and stress can lead to heart problems and all kinds of other things. But the underlying truth in all of this that will not surface is when Rockefeller moved us off of plant-based medicine and switched us to crude oil synthetics, he also aimed his efforts at removing our ability to discern of medicine sacrificed to idols. This seems to be the cause of all of our health problems because spiritually, we eat the crude oil to suppress symptoms and not really cure it as God gave us the plants for that. Hope this helps.